So only 8% of people keep their New Year's resolutions, and the majority of which give up before February. Hello my pretties, the witch is back. Historically, I have also been one of those people that never keeps a New Year's resolution. I've also not really been much for starting them because January has never really felt like a good time for change for me. But this year is the first time that it's ever really started to resonate with me as to why. If you are someone who loves your New Year's resolutions or you're one of the 8% that actually keeps them, keep up the good work. We're all proud of you. I, like many others, get a touch of seasonal affective disorder in the winter. So setting a new calendar year as this arbitrary time to start making a bunch of drastic changes has just not worked for me in the past. After the big countdown, I still feel unenergized and unmotivated. So this year, instead of pushing myself to try to set a bunch of new goals immediately, I'm going to listen to the earth, the environment around me, and my body. January goals definitely go against my nature, and they might actually go against nature itself. If you are on my side of the hemisphere, January is a winter month, and it is a time for rest, recovery, and hibernation. Most plants and animals have gone into a hibernation or dormant mode. I'm just gonna scooch over here for a second. If you follow practices based on the wheel of the year, the winter solstice is a time for reflection and release. The cross quarter is a time for new ideas. And the spring equinox is when you start planting seeds and cultivating growth, generally speaking. So I'm going to take some notes from nature and the wheel and break my resolution plan down into these steps. For January, I'm going to allow myself the space and the grace to rest. You are not failing if you need time to just chill. No need to gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, hustle culture your way into something if you're not feeling up for it. Even though I will be resting, we can start journaling or keeping lists. I love lists. But rather than them being New Year's resolutions that are things I'm going to immediately start drastically changing in my life, I'm going to write down ideas or hopes or goals. If there are goals that I know I want to achieve this year, I might spend some of this time brainstorming or free writing a couple of different ways that I might go about achieving those goals, different steps that I could take. But I'm not going to pressure myself into immediately acting upon anything unless I feel especially excited or energized to do so. Again, listening to what I want to do, listening to my body, not what I feel like I have to do. Because this is still sort of the reflection process of the year. As someone who is very impulsive or action-oriented, who does like immediate change for things, a slow burn process like this might not seem appealing. And I hear you. Same. But I know that if I push myself too hard right now, I'm going to just get immediately burnt out. So another thing that I'm going to do is start setting really small goals for myself. Maybe it's drink one more cup of water per day than you were before. Going on short walks instead of going straight to extreme hiking. Setting yourself these mini super realistic goals might seem silly, but it really is a way to build up your willpower to do something because saying that you're going to do something, saying that you're putting the intentions out to do something or that you want something to come to you also requires the belief that you're going to follow through with that, that the universe is going to follow through with that for you. And unfortunately, we do have to put in a little bit of the effort. I have also kind of fallen out of my normal witchcraft routine as life has gotten a little bit hectic. So some of my mini achievable goals is maintaining some of my practices, but in a really low energy accessible way. I do a lot of tea magic, a daily single tarot card pull, but mostly what I do is energy cleansing and protection. When I have the time and the energy and I feel the call to really pick things back up, it's going to be so important that that space is ready for me and it doesn't feel weighed down by stagnant energy. Now the cross quarter or bulk, which is on February 1st. Around then is when I'm going to start reviewing my lists and my journaling. The sun is going to start returning. There might be little signs of spring 
depending on where you are, and doing a review of my goals, seeing if I still want the same things, if I still wanna proceed as I have been. If some of my larger goals I have already started with my mini goals, I'm going to start gradually uh, making them larger and larger goals, bigger and bigger steps. The idea here is that by the spring equinox, all of my intentions, my goals, myself, my practice, and my spring garden will all have little seedlings that are already growing. So if you've already given up on a new year's resolution or it's just never resonated with you either, it's not too late. You too might benefit from listening to your own body and natural cycle, and it might be in line with nature's cycle. I seem to operate on more of a uh, wheel of the year spring garden schedule, but feel free to adjust this as you see fit. Whether you have new year's resolutions or you're going to go on this uh, gradual nature cycle rest journey with me, I would love to hear about them. Leave me a comment. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking or subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. I have a lot of hopes and uh, resolutions, I guess, for this channel this year, and it would mean a whole lot to me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.